Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're joined by the Drake Bulldogs and head coach Jenny Baranchik, along with student athletes Lizzie Wendell and Kendall Clark. We'll take an opening statement from the coach, followed by questions for the student athletes only. Then we'll dismiss the student athletes, at which point you can direct questions towards the coach. Coach, please start us off. You know, nobody wants to end their season um, on a loss, but most teams do. And the thing that we're going to take out of this is that we're not that far off and we've grown a lot over this year and I couldn't be more proud of the women that wore their Drake uniforms today and we we had some moments that we didn't like we had some moments that we did like but we're going to continue to grow and we're going to continue to get better questions for the student athletes please please wait for the microphone to come to you before you ask your question Lizzie, um, what positives do you take away from this loss today? Um, that we stayed strong as a team and we didn't lose our self-pride. And we're gonna, we got better each game this year and we're going to continue on to next year. Any further questions for the student athletes? You all are dismissed. Questions for the coach, please. Coach, the way that the kids did play today, do you feel that the program is going in the direction that you like? I think this tournament proved that our program's going in the direction that we like. I think, you know, I mean, we have a pretty tough road to get here in beating two of the hottest teams in our league in Evansville and Indiana State. Uh, with a young team and not much depth and not much size. So I think it caught up to us a little bit today. Um, you know, and, and I think Wichita State's a great team. Obviously, they've won back-to-back -back championships, so they're doing something right there, too. But, um, you know, we're going to do this the right way, and we have done that, and we're showing that. Um, I think our young women have a lot of class. I think they have a lot of dignity, and we're, we're getting better as competitors and better as basketball players. Any further questions? Your thought on the, the play of uh, Lizzie and Kendall there? Uh, this entire tournament, I think they've done a nice job. I think that, um, I mean, obviously Kendall having a double-double is a pretty big feat for us. I think we, we, we didn't get her probably enough looks. Um, again, credit to, to their defense. Uh, but she's a very special player, and she earned everything that she received this year, and she's a, probably one of the main reasons why we're here because it's tri her confidence and her poise has trickled down to the rest of our team. Um, and Lizzie Wendell is going to be a very special player. And she's only a freshman, and she doesn't even know how good she is yet. But to be able to come in and play the way that she did in this tournament, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing for anybody, let alone a freshman. Thank you, Coach. Presenting them is head coach Jody Adams, along with student athletes Jamila Bonner, Ellie Decker, and Alex Harden. Uh, we'll take an opening statement from the coach, then we'll do student uh, questions for the student athletes only. After that's finished, we'll dismiss them, and you can direct questions towards the coach. So, coach, please start us off. Well, uh, I just couldn't be any prouder of this team. Uh, you know, this is what you work all year long for, sometimes all your life for. Uh, not just to get to a championship game, but to deny the fact that you're going to lose a championship game. And uh, these de these guys definitely came in with that demeanor um, and followed through with those actions and our game plan of what we wanted to do against Drake today. So I I'm just um, I'm very blessed. I said before, you're very humble, very blessed to be in the position that I am to lead a fantastic group of young women. I have an unbelievable staff and uh, a relentless administration that supports a vision that I had six years ago. So um, I just feel very blessed, very, 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 very proud of this team today. Questions for the student athletes, please. Uh, wait for the microphone before you ask your question. Alex, you just talked about, the, I mean, to get back to back, <coughs> I mean, with the diversity you guys went through at the end of the season, how much more special does it make that, I mean, today feel? 
Uh, it just makes us know that we're a tougher team than we come off to be. We're young, but we're ready to fight into the details and push through tough times. It's hard beating a team three times. Drake's a good team. They got here, they were on a lot of confidence. We just were trying to pressure them, push the ball up, and get some easy buckets for ourselves. Yeah, and the key in that first half, um, what, what did you feel like? I mean, the, the defense did such a good job of just disrupting them. Um, probably just our ball pressure and getting up and up and denying in the lanes, just making them hesitate about where they wanted to go, where they wanted to pass it, and then just speeding them up. Yeah, and was there any motivation for you? I mean, playing against Clark, I mean, player of the year, uh, I mean, after the season you had, um, I mean, you probably, I mean, right there, is that any motivation? Um, just motivation more to get a win. And I knew I had to guard her, so I just knew what I had to do to guard her and just limit her touches and make her take tough shots. She's going to get hers at some point, so you just have to do a good job, make her take tired shots, and then pressure her. Yeah, and if I would have asked you after the Southern Illinois game, I mean, can, can you imagine, I mean, this, I mean, you guys, I mean, rolled through this tournament, won by, I think, 18, 18 or 19 um, each game. Um, what would you have told me after that Southern Illinois game? Um, I honestly don't know what I would have told you right then because it would just depend on how we were going to be able to come back off of getting in that bag of a slump. And that was our low point in the season. And we changed it and we made changes and the coaches changed how we were practicing. They got back on us, pushed us to a different level, and this is what happened. Yeah, and Dab told me that after you guys got back, there was like a player. I mean, you guys had a meeting. Um, I mean, spilled everything that seemed to get you guys back on track. What about that meeting or just that week of practice you feel like was so important <coughs> getting this team back on track? Um, probably the biggest thing was no excuses anymore. We had put ourselves in. We were just like, oh, just having those ups and downs in practices, and now we just knew we had to get it done. And there was no other example because we shouldn't have shared the title this year. And losing to SIU did it. So we just had no excuses. We were ready to come to practice, work harder, get better. And uh, Jamel, just talk about the, the that second half where you guys, I mean, you put them in a 20-point hole. I mean, this is a championship game. Um, I mean, two of the best offensive players there. I mean, they finished with 49 points. Uh, just how good were you guys? Uh, just how good did it feel for you defensively this game? Um, I feel like we just stuck through our defense, and we got the three best defense players on our team, so we just continued to work with each other and play off each other. Have uh, any of you three ladies given the coaches dance at the end of the championship uh, a name, or what are your thoughts on it? <laughs> Just happy, yeah, happy coach and excited. That's about it. Hey, we deserved it, so she, that's what she gave us. We got a dick. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Any further questions for the student athletes? Thank you all. Thank you. You may now direct questions towards Coach Adams. Coach, uh, how, how did the dance situation start and when did you start it? You know, I think we were, you know, on a winning streak and I don't know, we figured out. Actually, it was my fiance that figured out this song happy and he started playing it at home every time i come in because i come in we were winning and i was like oh gosh we got to do this better this better so he would cut me off and start playing the happy song so we decided to play the happy song on the bus and uh so that's when it started during the season and you know it's just an upbeat song and makes you think about why you're happy and you know just really how blessed we are um i mean there's so many things you can reflect to and um you know, when you do what I do uh, for a profession. And uh, so it just makes you do a double check and a self check and while, while we do what we do and to be happy. How good a feeling is it going back to the big show with these ladies? Great, great. They, they understand it. You know, we, we only have one senior. So, you know, those, those top, that core group understands that five really understand what we're walking into. And, and I think we'll walk in with a, a different purpose. You know, we were just excited to be there. Never been there, never been there in school history. And you got a coaching staff that's trying to teach that, okay, what we're about to walk into, what kind of stage you're on now. And uh, now we know a little bit about it. And so um, we're not just going to enjoy the ride. Uh, we're going to, to compete this time.
What was your thought when the final buzzer sounded? I just, you know, when you see something come true, it's a vision. And um, there's just a, you know, a big thank you. Big thank you to the big man upstairs. Um, you know, like I said, it's, you're just thankful. You're just very thankful that uh, you have a staff that you have, the kids that you have, the support you have from your administration. Just very thankful, very blessed. <clears throat> hey, Coach, you look at four for 20, 49 points, a uh, very talented offensive team, and Drake, um, what does that say to you, just how well you guys play defense? Defense wins ball games. Rebound wins championships. You know, we had, we shot the ball well, so we're not going to have as many offensive boards as we typically would, but defense wins championships, and we'll stick to that philosophy. Yeah, and... I mean, I know Alex didn't let, lead on too much there, but just that matchup with her and Clark, you, you feel like there's some motivation there, defense, offense. You know, you know, Alex is not that way. That doesn't really trigger her, honestly. What triggers her is that she, what she does is she does for her teammates. Uh, she's just that type of kid. It's not a I'll show you attitude at all. She's the most humble kid I've ever coached. I wish she was a little bit more greedy at times or had a little bit more pit in her like JB does. Um, she just she's very humble, and, and and the the her fight is for this team. It's for this program, you know. It, it's for her, her, for the coaching staff. I mean, she was player of the year, and yeah, our, our play our defensive player of the year, and we want her to exemplify that, and she expects that of herself because she received that award, and somebody recognized her for that. But um, no, it was just uh, a team thing. And, and knowing the, the choices, I mean, this team made after that SIU game, how much more, I mean, sweet does it make it knowing that they responded the way they did? I think it's, it's the respect of um, of understanding the coaches and deciding to be coachable. Because, you know, through, you know, February's the grind. You had a couple players dinged up, couldn't go as hard, couldn't be as tough. They didn't want tough coaching. and this team responds best to tough coaching when they allow us to coach them. We got back into tough times, tough grind situations, uh, got, back, got, got back on our toes and got back to doing what we do well and trusting each other and the next line of our defense that we're going to be there when we do. This is the outcome. It's, you know, it's black and white. And one more question. When... Um when you saw, I mean, you, you said during that losing streak it was a choice. So when they, they did it four. It's a choice to play soft. It's a choice to play tough. Yeah, when they did it three or four times, was it ever concerning, I mean, that this team might not might not be there? I, I just think it becomes a mental battle. You, you can't really, um, you know, explain that as a coach. You, you know it as a coach that's been a player at this level of what they're going through. And it comes a point that I've got to stop fighting them. And we're just we're going to learn through tough times. We're going to learn through losses. Because the wins, teaching through wins is so hard. And the wins didn't teach us anything, not when you're blowing people out by 20 and 30. I mean, it's not teaching you anything. Um, it, it just, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't sink in like that to an 18, 19, 20-year-old, unless you really have a really special kid. That, it's at another level, you know, mentally. And so it just really didn't sink in. And, you know, we just don't have that, um, that pit bull leadership on our team. We've got great leadership. We have great leaders. But they're not that, hey, we got to keep our guard up. we got to stay, you know. This, this just, you know, it's a different team. So we have to be that. And that's when a coach understands and knows their team, knows when to back off, when to put it back on. And... You know, during that stretch of Evansville and Southern, I was putting it back on. I didn't, I, whatever happened, happened, but I was putting it back on because I, I knew what the, this team needed. It was just them accepting it, them understanding it, and them being mature about it, saying, Coach, we want you back. And so when it came back, it was started in practice, and Alex was right. Thank you.